Hey guys, Necromancer. So we got this folk. SM looks like it's kind of um, top guy, at least for this weekend in open beta. Uh, easy build, there is few options out there. I will just uh, go and we'll like go through details like you can see here. So as you can see I got six uh, warriors, basically melee guys and five uh, mages and definitely a uh, tot uh, golem. What right away, again as you might know, you have extra ability, in this case in Necromancer's Book of Death, so you can fine tune uh, your details. For example, in this case, if we go uh, uh, this ability, we can even have additional uh, as a skeleton uh, warrior defender. I went, for example, Reaper just again uh, to carve more flesh into corpse, so I'll explain why. Uh, so that is good. Uh, uh, I did have additional and also want to talk. Hopefully you got maybe different experience. I got extra items and let me kind of go uh, uh, warriors plus two. So default for six. Technically I supposed to get two more here from six to eight and and plus two and this is eight didn't kick in at all so as you can see i still kept it at two six i don't know if it's like limitation in between or something but i would assume it's a matter to really kind of up to the max as kind of yeah whatever combination of items we can get because it sounds like really uh, uh, artificial one so mages here and let me see i believe i kind of have no i do not have uh, additional but again as I said four by default uh, and uh, having extra two here and two here uh, it didn't kick in as you can see it's even grayed out look at that your maximum how about that you see or oh, it's orange it says and when we have two extra it doesn't kind of work together so that that's it's something that we need to take to consideration so again i do not have benefits in having both this item i most probably would rather invest into something else again back to the build uh, as well again you probably already saw a bunch of them or explore by yourself uh, there is like two main uh, oh, not main first of all you need to have kind of life generated and again because it's Again, complexity relatively low, so for me it wasn't even a question. So uh, uh, I went kind of first of all with a corpse a explosion. Okay, just explosive, and let me show you here, for example, and you will see even the radius. As you can see, I had the chance to even up um, it to from default five, right? I got two extra items, so to seven. Uh, so you will see when we go here, it's kind of good, good radius out there, generally speaking. But again, back to the, uh, the build itself, you need corpse uh, to, to generate, just to wait to be kill it, uh, kill first corpse. I guess it's not the best strategy. So at this point, again, I will not advocate to have bones uh, uh, splitter uh, up to five, I will uh, uh, refund some of them. But the most important, at least if you go with the uh, corpse, uh, and again, it might change over time, again, lucky hit by 12. So basically each tenth of your kind of hit and they constantly shooting this, not for the damage, but really uh, with the idea to generate. So basically holding this one and clicking in my case one with the idea, okay, if uh, my shooting uh, will generate because again, this skill it's what's saying on your damage i will have a chance to create corpse so it looks like it's not about amount of damage so that's why i will cut this point back i will keep shooting and uh, getting my corpse so this is one uh, uh, bone spear it looks like why not uh, so because i do not use you can even uh, i was playing all uh, all the time even without this um, and I never even invested it's coming from even item uh, uh, 
so technically you can avoid uh, essence mana uh, whatever they keep changing for characters i guess it's they started in diablo 3 so basically you don't need to use essence mana uh, in this case at all if you don't use as you can see uh, again ba uh, basic uh, bone splitter is free so generate corpse Co corpse exposure it's free and after that raising uh, your minions it's also free so in my case it's just walking uh, in the park uh, so for that matter but again uh, uh, I will reconsider and instead of even using maybe revoke everything from base and invest into uh, a bones uh, spear Again, I didn't invest any into life generation. So there is blood, me uh, blood mist. This is one go to. Oh, another one. I would say generate essence when you explode. That's something I will put some points here, especially if I will go to uh, bone uh, spear and also in uh, increase damage. This is uh, so so. But there is was another one. I was looking for this one uh, again uh, when we, uh, when corpse is formed uh, from your skills or your minions whatever way right so if we cast or we'll kill somebody etc so we'll have a percent base life up from that matter and for minions as well looks like uh, uh, no it's only for us so from this perspective again as i described it will constantly generate new corpse and corpse will generate life so here is endless kind of uh, cycle here and again i wouldn't uh, uh, will be thinking that it will be uh, again will stay so i will definitely change and kind of uh, balance it because it seems to be way too good so again back to this we need to shoot to generate uh, 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 with at least this built lucky hit with lucky hit we'll get corpse and with corpse we just keep exploding when we exploding we will get our life back and there is another one that you can generate essence out there so for that matter you will uh, yeah if you want to be, uh, again go more into kind of uh, bone spear or even bone spirit uh, so this is something you also might want to consider but again the issue at this point we have like 26 point uh, again because 25 uh, five, five levels and plus extra uh, points out there that's not a lot you really need to kind of move stuff around which is just basically fun struggle to optimize the build uh, having this artificial 25 uh, level limitation so for example this one that I'm talking about and again filter I guess it's a feature that was yeah. I wish I can do even wording, but again, you have predefined kind of tags. It reminds me that uh, maybe a decade or more ago, when it was like in each website or like at the time was blogs, when you have this cloud of tags. Uh, but yeah, in this case, it maybe makes sense or essence. And this is another grade that I'm probably will be investing and you it depends of your build uh, you will consume while you consume corpse means you explode them for example in this build in this perspective you will just generate essence and, and again imagine this you just shoot for free you generate uh, uh, corpse you consume corpse you got your life you, and you got your essence kind of win-win so again so that's why it's kind of so op or overpowered i would say to be specific uh, a necromancer uh, a necromancer built out there again and good stuff from beta there is a lot of uh, really i didn't get the taste of first week but they added really good uh, stuff especially from even rare you can get something as you can see here a course uh, exposure plus two right that we have from item uh, right away as, uh, as I described it before there is other uh, stuff uh, out there like uh, uh, corpse has 23 ch uh, chance to swamp uh, um, and again uh, blood orbs this is some uh, some life refill as well and again it's necromancer only so we have this as we discussed it that, that it doesn't uh, do benefits for me 
because it doesn't add these two skeletons uh, on top so uh, after that we have deal increased shadow damage uh, when uh, 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 moving on to, to even again it's not even uh, legendary right uh, and we already have it uh, plus two to our skills here's another kind of unique uh, number two or two skeletons after that we will go here's another one each time when you summon very specific and unique and something you really need to reconsider do you need kind of more just basic damage or you okay invest to your minions in this case another one so there is additional damage here uh, uh, blood uh, or, or orbs again increase and here is uh, another one uh, benefits here and uh, mages as we discussed it before plus two so really good good stuff out there that I would say that make it uh, made a difference in kind of beta and I kind of believe that oh here we go I believe they increase it way too high to give as it can be I would say in real maybe games they will even decrease to 10% what we receive it in this beta but it, uh, at least it's still very good to see uh, what's going on another I would say a real case when we go back to our stash as I mentioned maybe in another video there is we don't have a per character our per character uh, uh, tab in uh, 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 stash so that's why it will force us to basically um, probably just keep selling crap out there and adding the tabs as you can see like by default we got one I got another just call it jam just for no reason because beta will probably will wipe all these findings anyway and again created for example necro stuff which is again if I want to do next level it will me cost me 300 so it's just again maybe it's a good idea as they're doing so when you farm for new uh, items kind of unique and specific for you you will get your exp moving on again I'm talking a uh, normal game and definitely you generate money like currency gold we have here to kind of uh, buy some extra benefits here but overall again really good stuff uh, again necromancer again looking forward how they most probably decrease the po uh, overpowered uh, uh, skills but overall it was a good week so yeah if you have again i'm not really sure you will have your own builds it's out there please do comment consider please subscribe and uh, uh, like if you like and again if you have any ideas and other builds to necromancer that it kind of played well for you guys just let me know in comments and see you next one yeah see ya bye bye